Okay, so this video might seem a bit late because I'm going to talk about the stories we are grateful for, but probably just due to the fact that I'm in that Thanksgiving season while recording it, I want to talk about it, and I figured it also has to do with this channel being about this celebration of stories. Anyway, I think the stories we are grateful for also tend to fall into this other category, in that they are the stories that really matter. And that term kind of comes from Samwise Damji in Lord of the Rings, where he's encouraging Frodo, who's being almost weighed down by the darkness that he's seen in the world on his journey. And Sam is basically encouraging him in that, yeah, we remember stories from when we were kids that dot dart. But the thing is that in the end, things got better. The sun still shone. Life went on even if things didn't always look the best or may not have even turned out the best, there was still light left. And I think those are kind of the things that really leave an impact on us. It gives us more than just the entertainment or fluffy stories that we sometimes hear. There's a deeper meaning and a purpose behind it. And I think those kind of stories also generally fall into four categories that I'll list off, and the first being history. Now, the saying goes is that those who fail history are doomed to repeat it. And we kind of do have that cycle in a sense in that we can either follow it or break it. And breaking it comes from knowing our history and deciding to make a different choice. Because the thing is, we are able to look back at history and say, hey, I can actually use those who've done before me's ceiling as my floor. I can step kind of the steps or the pitfalls they fell into because they've already done it for me. And that's also part of the reason why we should know history is that it gives us heritage and tells us where we're from and lets us learn from the past in a sense. And it can even bring that both dignity and humility in a sense because we see what the those who've done before us have done in the past for good and bad and so it's just kind of this interesting thing in what we can learn from history and why we should acknowledge it so we aren't getting at that cycle but we are basically spiraling up in a sense Anyway, the second category is the testimonies. And now the thing that comes to mind for that is someone's passed the test, so now they get the money. And that's kind of a cute term, but it kind of does have a meaning because often the testimony or testimonial is someone going from point A to point B, basically. And maybe they're just sharing the impact that something happened, but it's also storing in people that, wait a minute, if it's possible for them, it's probably possible for me. And sometimes they're even giving details on what they did to get from point A to point B. So then people are able to fall along in the same path so that they can also enjoy those new results. And so the third category is the stories that impart wisdom. And these are often the parables or fables we've heard. And while these stories may seem simple, they are also the ones that have a lesson. And sometimes the fact is the lesson is that things turn out bad when you do something. So the story doesn't necessarily seem to end well, but it's still there as a thing to impart wisdom on us so that we don't do the mistakes that were listed out in the story or that we are able to do something that the story listed as good to enjoy similar results. And then we did it the fourth category, which is the inspiration. And this might tie into kind of like both the testimonial and history in that we see people who have achieved something that's almost awe-inspiring in a sense or great and tremendous or just something that maybe restores a bit of faith in humanity. <laughs> but, in the, but there are also other things that inspire us. And for me, as a storyteller, one of the things is seeing kind of the worlds that people create. And the two that kind of always spring to mind are Lord of the Rings and Toronto to Zunania. And I know those are probably the most general ones I to choose, but they still inspire me. And I go back to them in hopes of trading worlds like that, that people can just almost feel are real in a sense. 
even though they just come from imagination. So those are kind of the stories that I'm grateful for. So why not share some of the stories you are grateful for in the comments below. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you can like and share it so that others may enjoy it as well. And you can also subscribe to this channel so that you can see more videos like this in the future. Anyway, I'm Jonah, and you have been watching Lions Main Media, where we celebrate stories and the lessons you learned from them. Talk to you later, and have a great rest of your day.